Hello my Blockham Cheaters, as you can see I made an intro in Sony Vegas and it sucks. I really needed an intro and I didn't want to pay anyone so yeah. Today we're gonna uh, start coding uh, on the client. So what you want to do is uh, right click the source and create a new package called uh, me. Uh, and your name, you, you can choose whatever you want, I'm gonna choose uh, Robofan. Uh, YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna call it me that will be found at YouTube. This is the client name, it's gonna be called YouTube. And uh, here you wanna create a class. I'm, I'm just gonna call it client. You can call it uh, client name or uh, you can call it the client too if you want. So, so this, is, this will be our uh, base for the client. So uh, first we need to add some uh, cool uh, fields. Uh, gonna be static because we, uh, it, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have one instance of it it's uh, easier if we do that uh, client name and I'm gonna call it uh, YouTube client public static uh, client uh, version oh fuck I'm stupid string client name there we go. And uh, it's gonna be 0 0.1, I don't know, um, you can you can choose uh, build one, build one or something, I'm gonna choose 0 0.1. Okay, next thing you wanna do is uh, create a method called, I don't know, public uh, static void init. So this will happen, uh, we're gonna add a, cli uh, a, a client hook. Uh, so that when uh, Minecraft starts, it's gonna run this uh, function or method, I don't know what to call it. And it's gonna be really nice. So what you need to do is uh, press Ctrl Shift T. And it's gonna bring up this window. Uh, okay, and type Minecraft. Of oh, type Minecraft. Minecraft. Here. Okay, now we're in the Minecraft class. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna move this window the console over here. So I have more uh, space to code. And we're gonna go down to... Uh, hmm, here, the start game uh, function. And go even further down here. And here we're gonna call client.init. So when Minecraft starts now, it's gonna run this function. So what do we want to do in this function? Here we're gonna initialize our managers and uh, some more stuff that we need for the client. So firstly, we need to make UI renderer class. Uh, yeah. Dot render or dot UI. Let's make a new package and uh, call the class and UI render UI renderer. Okay, so this class will uh, render stuff to the screen. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, just make a method public void uh, draw draw or something. Okay, and then we're gonna make it so that it extends GUI. GUI. And uh, now press Control Shift and O. Oh yeah, you, you need to save it first. Now press Ctrl, Shift and O and it's gonna import it automatically from Minecraft. It's easier that way. Okay, so we're gonna go to the client and type public static UI renderer and renderer UI renderer Okay. And then we're gonna initialize the renderer here. What's new UI renderer? Okay, so what this will do is uh, initialize the renderer so we can use it. So we can use this method and stuff. So also, you need to create a uh, function called public static void on GY. And in that, you need to write uh, draw. 
Okay, in this class what you want to do is private uh, Minecraft Minecraft equals new mine No, equals <laughs> equals Minecraft dot get Minecraft Okay, and then no, it's not gonna be called Minecraft. It's gonna be called MC and we need to do MC dot uh, draw no font render object dot draw string and you want to draw a string yeah so I'm gonna draw the client name client dot client name okay okay maybe I should explain what it does uh, draw string it uh, it, it renders a string to the screen. It's as simple as that. Uh, it, this is the text that it, uh, it should render. This is uh, how far from the top of the screen it should be. This is how far on the left of the screen it should be. So it will be one pixel to the right and one pixel down with the color white. Uh, this is the red, green and blue channels. Uh, we need to add a hook for this, for this function. function. In order for it to be called, and if you don't remember, it is called from the onGUI method in the client. So, what you want to do is open GUI in game, scroll down a bit to um, the render game overlay function, and go down to uh, right about here at line 400 and type your client dot uh, onGUI. So what this will do is, after it has uh, rendered everything to the screen, it's gonna uh, render whatever you want to the screen. So it will uh, hopefully render the client name in the top left of the screen. Okay, so if I go into uh, the MCP world, you can see that it says YouTube client up here. Awesome. Uh, but... Uh, what if you want to change something and you don't want to restart the whole client? Well, uh, if you start the client with uh, the, the debug mode enabled, if you press this button instead of this button, it will actually enable you to change stuff in real time. So if I type drawstring with shadow, you can see you can see that it hasn't changed. There is no shadow, but if I save it. Now there's a shadow, so it actually updates in real time. So if I want to make the text red, I can just remove the green and blue channels, and it will make it red. There's one problem though. I think the the text is too small. So what I I need to do is uh, scale scale up. So if I tap gl state manager dot scale, and just just uh, add two to the arguments. And here I'm gonna scale it down again. Uh, I'm gonna make it half as big. You can see that it's two times as big in the screen. But uh, remember that it, that this also make makes the x and y coordinates two times as big. So I need to change it to one again. Yeah, now it's a YouTube client, and we're ready to add some more hooks uh, for 3D rendering. This is just a two, 2D rendering on the screen. Uh, 3D rendering enables us to make ESP and tracers and stuff. So we're gonna make a on render function, public static void on render. And in this, uh, we don't need to add anything yet. We're gonna add something here when we're making hacks later, so that they can use this function. Uh, also, I'm gonna add some more functions that we need to add a hook to. So on update, well, actually it's on uh, re update, and we're gonna have public static on on post update. Okay, nice. Uh, we don't actually need anything more yet, but uh, later we're gonna add a lot more hooks. Okay, so we're gonna start with on render. We need to go to the entity render class and so we're gonna scroll down to line 1900 and right before it says render hand we're gonna render our stuff. So uh, client dot on render. Yeah, it's that easy and uh, 
Now we have the own render function and now we need the own pre-update function. So we're gonna go into entity player. This is the class for the player, the, the client player that we're gonna be playing as. So I'm gonna search for on update walking player here. And right before right before this, we're gonna write client dot on pre-update. And we just have one more hook to add and it's the post update okay so we're gonna add on post update a bit more a bit uh, higher up in this function on update client dot on post update okay nice that's all we need for now oh yeah i forgot one more thing we need to make a on key press function on key press and then in key code just so we can make binds for modules and stuff so if we, we press the R key it's gonna toggle kill aura for example so we need to go into minecraft key I think I go down to I think it's about here if this dot current screen is here and then do client dot on key pressed and then I. So this is will, this will be the key code of the key that's pressed, and we're gonna match that with the uh, modules and stuff. Okay, so now we can finally make some hacks. So I'm gonna make a new package called module, because hacks are called modules in the Minecraft hacking world, you know. Okay, so module manager, module manager. This will be the manager <laughs> for our modules. If it isn't that clear. Um, we need a list. First, we need a list to uh, store all uh, modules in. So, public array list module. We're gonna add. We're gonna add the module later. Uh, module list equals new array list module. And then uh, Control Shift O to import it automatically. And we need a public in it for this one too and it's here we're gonna it's uh, in this place we're gonna add all modules we're gonna register all modules and stuff so here we're gonna create a new module manager manager and uh, control shift o to import that again and then module manager dot uh, equals new module manager there nice so as you can see it's red here it can't find the the class for module that's because we haven't made it yet so this will be the base for our hacks it's gonna be called module and we need public we need a private string name this is gonna be the name of the hack private int key code this is gonna be the key binding of the hack a private string modes it's gonna be the modes of the hack private uh, string description if we're ever gonna add a if we're ever gonna add a click gy okay nice um i think that's all we need i'm just gonna shape yeah also we need private category category because all models need a category. As you can see, it can't find a category, so we're gonna make that too. And this is gonna be an enum, not a class. It's gonna be called category. So this enum will store all categories. So we so we have some basic categories like combat, movement, player, and uh, miscellaneous. You can just add that for now. Okay, so we, we need a constructor for the model. So I'm just gonna press control. Yeah, and if you if you're wondering how I bring up this module, I press uh, control space as it says down here. And uh, I'm gonna make a constructor, and in that one I'm gonna we're gonna set all the, the stuff. So the name, the category, and uh, yeah, that's all we need for now. We can extend this by making multiple multiple uh, constructors so 
In this constructor we can also add a description. Fuck this quick shum, yeah. And also we can add a key code, key code if you want. And we can also add a we can also add a key code and string modes. Modes. This with the three dots it means we can enter how many we want without uh, fucking up stuff and yeah. So first we're gonna go down to the last one here and have this dot name equals name this dot category equals category this is just to set up the hack description is description key code equals key code and this dot modes equals modes yeah and uh, in the smaller ones we're just gonna call this one but with the uh, other arguments so this name category and uh, an empty description a key no it's gonna be null actually and a key code and just a mode called default I can't type today, I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so in this one we need to name, category, description, and then keyboard dot, no, key not. Uh, oh yeah, and then we need to add the mode default. And so this one will uh, link to this one, and this one will link to this one. And this one should link to this one too. Yeah, I haven't guessed. So, empty description. Keyboard of key. None. And default mode. Nice. Now we actually need to make some more fields. So, public. No, we need to make it private. Actually, private. Boolean enabled. Okay, so. And we're gonna get enabled. No, is enabled. We're gonna have a getter and a setter. Set enabled. Uh, this will, if you can't already guess, this is gonna. Tell, with this, we're gonna tell if the mod is on or off. Uh, before we can create a hack, we need to make some more functions here. A uh, public array list module get guild and get enabled modules this will just look through our module list uh, for module module in module list okay so we need to make a new list a uh, list module toggle modules that's my array list I hate making array lists, you know. It takes such a long time to type everything. Okay, if module dot is enabled, you can add it to the toggle modules list. And then we're gonna return toggle modules. This this function will just get all, every module in the module list that is uh, that is toggled, that is enabled, that is uh, on, you know. So in the module class, we need. I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna copy this once. I'm just gonna copy this and remove the static. Okay. And on key pressed, I'm gonna if I'm gonna type if this dot key code equals key code. Dot. Okay, I need to make another another function first. Public void toggle, and it's gonna set enable not is enabled. So it's gonna switch from being enabled to disabled. So this dot toggle. 
You actually don't need to type this before toggle, but it, it looks a bit nicer. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do it here, but I do it here. It's it's really it's really stupid. I don't. Okay. So okay, so here we're gonna type four module module in module manager dot module list. Uh, okay. Nice, and then module dot on key pressed, and then the key code. We're gonna do the same thing for all these functions, except we're gonna you do it for all enabled modules instead. And, and post update. You can just copy this and change this to on render this to on free update. Okay, nice. We're actually ready to make some hacks now. Finally. Okay, here you want to make a new package called modules. And here we're gonna put all our modules. Uh, and uh, if you don't remember, modules is the name for hack. So yeah, uh, let's just start with sprint. It's an easy mod to make. Uh, oh, okay. It's gonna extend module and just uh, control shift and O to work that. <coughs> and uh, it says add constructor. So we're gonna add, an cons uh, add a constructor. Here we're gonna add a name. It's gonna be called. Uh, it's gonna be called sp sprint, of course, and the category category dot movement and uh, the key code keyboard dot key. Uh, let's say uh, let's put it on B, like in Jigsaw. <laughs> and press con uh, control space and on in pre update we want to make the player sprint all the time. So how we're gonna do that is if MC. Oh yeah, I forgot something. In the module class, we need to make a protected Minecraft ma MC. Was Minecraft Minecraft get Minecraft like that? So now we have the Minecraft uh, thing, Minecraft uh, instance, and we can change it however we want. We're gonna do Minecraft dot player dot uh, movement input dot forward dot, uh, I think this is the forward yeah I need to re rename this move forward the way you rename it is press by pressing shift alt and R then it will bring up this and you, you and you just want to rename it to move forward so mc.player that movement input dot move forward if that's more than zero we're gonna make the player sprint that's sprinting true and in the module manager we want to add a module called module list dot add new sprint this will add the sprint module to our, to our module list Oh yeah, I forgot, we need to remove this thing too. This whole argument thing. And then, then we can just start the client. Yeah, okay, so I'm going into the world now. Nice, I'm just walking and if I press V, nothing is happening, fuck me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Module manager dot init. We need to initialize the module manager first. Okay. Otherwise it won't add the mod to the client. Okay, now, now it will work, I hope. Oh yeah, now it works. Now if I'm, if I press V, it will start. I will start sprinting. Every time I press the W key, every, er, like every time I start walking, it will make me sprint. And also, I just want to turn off auto jump because it's fucking annoying. You can see I'm, I'm sprinting. So yeah, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna create a shit ton of hacks and we're gonna make really cool hacks so uh, see you later bye <laughs>